Peace is not simply the absence of violence. It comes from an inner sense of security, of a conviction that God is with us and in us, and that we are in the right place. It is something that not even the threat of death can take away. Hello sisters and brothers, peace be with you and your family. I'm Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Today's Gospel presents us with a portrait of Jesus as a selfless leader about to take leave of his small band of followers. Though facing the horrors of his own death, his main concern is how to soften the blow that this event will deal to his disciples. He understands their frailty, for they are incapable of grasping the meaning and the far-reaching implications of what is about to take place. They will witness the event at the surface level and be horrified by its violence, unable to fathom the divine logic that operates at its depth. They need to be assured that nothing will happen that is outside the scope of God's saving will, so that instead of getting scandalized, they may believe. To ensure that they will not remain in a prolonged state of grief over his death, nor be assailed by guilt for retreating from Calvary in fear, Jesus gives them in advance the gift of peace that will be the fruit of his sacrifice. It is fundamentally peace with God, an anticipation of Jesus' work of reconciliation. It is this gift of peace that cushioned the shock of Calvary and the bewildering Easter surprise. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, let your peace flood our hearts in these troubled and uncertain times. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs> 